my name is Pearl, and I'm an application scientist here at Micromortics. Today, we'll go over some quick tips on how to maximize BT surface area measurements. Let's start with the first tip, selecting the adsorptive gas. Nitrogen is the most commonly used adsorptive gas for the BT measurement, and krypton is often used for low surface area materials. When should we use krypton is a frequently asked question. Here's a general rule of thumb you can use to select the appropriate gas. Nitrogen will work for most materials if the expected surface area of the sample is above one square meter per gram. However, if the sample's expected surface area is below one square meter per gram, then krypton should be used. Remember, these are just general rules and it will always depend on how much total surface area is available. It will also depend on how much sample can fit in the bulb of the tube, which will be covered in more detail in tip number two. 